I, I like to leave on a positive note. So as we wrap up, what WWE producers stood out to you as somebody that specifically helped you? Like maybe something that, that like it helped click with you, maybe somebody that maybe gave you some more guidance than, than one of the others. Oh God, I've had so many, and I'm going to include like, because it was such, I'm going to include NXT trainers in that too, mm-hmm. just because it was such a big part and like they sure. produced so many great shows. You can bury um, them too if you want. It'd be a great headline. <laughs> yes. Nate <laughs> English buries Norman Smiley. Yes. Something no one has ever said in the history of wrestling. The big wiggle then, was terrible. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> I'm going to start with him just because he, he set my career on the path. It is like he, he's the one that told me, Hey, I, you know, I, I can't make any promises and everything, but whatever he said, obviously resonated with someone and he's the reason I'm here. And then even after that continued to be one of the most positive and like, intelligent and well-spoken and most just giving men that I've ever had the ability to train under um, guys like, I mean, Arne Anderson was great. Uh, I had, I had a great, great relationship with uh, Billy Gunn. When he was at NXT, he had such a great approach to teaching that I thought that I think is very, very uh, important. He kind of showed you how to have fun with it all. Um, and I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna say this almost begrudgingly, and if he sees this, he'll know why. But uh, I have a, a love for Terry Taylor. Okay. Who, um, who a lot of people have butted heads with, and I did too, because like he's he can be very opinionated, and he has very he comes from that old school kind of mindset. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's so funny. He's like your parents because mm-hmm. you're, he's sitting there, he's raising you as a wrestler and you're fighting your, no, why can't I do this? Why is it a bad idea? Why are you telling me it's not a good idea to do this? I think that's crazy. That's so old. That's from your generation. And you grow up and you go and you perform at all these stages and you go, you, I mean, I'm still right, but hot damn, he was right about X, Y, and Z. You're like, crap. That, um, that's like what, so that's like, what Moxley told me about, about Michael Hayes. He said that I thought I was right so much and he proved me wrong so many times. And I was yes. like, damn. And he said that he learned a lot doing that. Yes, exactly. And you're like, and some of it, you're not going to learn until you just have enough experience or you go out in those situations. You're like, Oh, holy crap. Like they were yes. right. So that, that was, that was a big eye-opening thing for me. So I do appreciate everything from him. 